Hello guys, welcome to the second day of 30 days of Databricks series. In this video, I will show you how you can create account and use the community edition of Databricks, right? Let's get started right away, right? So this is the website Databricks as I showed you in my previous video also. And there is two options. One, try for free and another is the community edition, right? We can just click from here, try for free. If you click this, it will take us to the place where you can create the account, right? It says here, try Databricks free. Test drive the full Databricks platform free for 14 days on your choice of AWS, Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud. If you want to go with this free version, then after 14 days, you will be using the full version and you need to pay it. And also it's not completely free for these 14 days because under the hood, you are using AWS Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud, meaning that you need to pay on the resources that you use in these platforms. We will explore this once we explore the community edition so that I can show you the extra functionality of Databricks, which are not available in the community edition, right? First, what we need to do is create the account. Let's fill all the different things which is mentioned here. You can do the same. Okay, so I have filled my information. So Sudarshan Koirala email is here. Company, self company, title, machine learning engineer. You can just type whatever you want here. And the phone is optional. And the country just put you the country where you are now. If you want to get all the different things, I would like to receive marketing communication. All the, if you want, then you can click this. Else you can just click continue. After this, it will ask you to choose a cloud provider, right? That's what I said you. Databricks is in the forefront, but on the back end, there is the cloud providers, right? There is Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. This is what you choose if you want to go with the Databricks free version, right? But we want to go with the community edition. If you see here, don't have a cloud account. It says community edition is a limited Databricks environment for personal use and training. It says the link get started with the community edition. That is what we are going to do, right? If I click this, it will take me to the community edition, right? It says verification, please solve this puzzle. So we know you are a real person. We are a real person, right? Let's verify this. Pick the deer. So I hope you know which is deer. Let's go with the deer. It says one done, verification complete. What next? Check your email to start your trial, right? If I go to my email, I need to get started by visiting this, right? I can click this link also. I will verify it. And once I verify, it will ask to reset the password. Now you need to provide the password here. Right. Okay, so now I provided the password here and then please confirm your new password. You can say reset password. Once that is done, it will take you to the UI of Databricks here, right? So this is the UI and so let's go through the UI now. I am on the community edition. That is what it is directed from the email, right? So what is it, right? Let's go through the UI here. Here you can see on the left side, there is the Databricks UI which brings you to the main page. Right. On the top side, there is the email address and there is this user settings, admin console, delete account, logout. And here is the question mark, meaning that help center, documentation, knowledge based Databricks, status, feedback and all the different things. Right. You can just go and provide whatever you want. And on the left side here, if you just go here, there is data science and engineering. But if you click here, it will show you two different things. One is data science and engineering and next one is machine learning. And in the main Databricks cloud environment, which is not the community edition, there is also a SQL part. We will explore that once we are there. But if you want to work with machine learning stops and if you want to work with data science and engineering, right? The main difference here is now if you see here, in the, if I click this machine learning, you can see here the experiment tab is being shown here because in machine learning, we do some experiments. We use mainly MLflow in Databricks. I will also show you about MLflow later in the series. But this is what the difference is just on the UI level. You can choose any of those to get started. Let's go with data science and engineering for now. Here is this create, right? If you click this icon here, it says create notebook, table and cluster, right? Notebook 
notebook is the main UI where you will do all your stuffs, right? And the table is what we create the tables there. Cluster is, let's say, engine to run all the different things, right? Let's say you want to run notebook. You cannot do that unless you have the cluster on a high level. I will create a completely new video about cluster notebook. So don't get worried about that. And what is workspace? This is the workspace as it is shown here. So there are shared as well as users. If I go to users, you will see my email address there. And inside there, we can create, if you right click, you can create notebook, library, folder, ML flow experiment. You can import, right? If you click this, you can import URL or the file. That's how it works. And if you go more here, copy link address, that's all, right? And one little bit of confusing thing here is how to go back, right? I have I have demonstrated Databricks to many people and they find it confusing just going through the UI, how to go back, right? There is also this icon which allows you to go back and here, but we don't see this. We just want to have up here, right? So what you can do is if you click on top of these users, it will go one step back and it will show you the two different things, right? You can click here, it will go one step back. Just another way of navigating through the Databricks UI. And here is the recent things, meaning that the name itself suggests that if you are going through something, it shows you there, the recent tab. And the source icon is where you can sort the workspace. And there is this data where you can upload the data and we'll go through this also later so it's not a problem the compute as i said this is where we create the cluster and the workflows this as you can see here it says learn more about workflows for ss please upgrade your databrix subscription we cannot use workflows with the community edition that's what i mentioned you before we will first explore the free version of community edition and once we explore all the different things that we can do freely then we will upgrade and see the functionalities in the full fledged that's how i am planning to create the videos right and on the downside there is this menu option as the name suggests if you do the auto it will if you hover here it will expand and if you just want it to expand all the time it will expand like this and if you want to collapse, then it will just show you the icons without the name. But in the beginning, what I suggest you to do is always open this in expand so that you will get familiar with what are the different icons here in Databricks. It's up to you how you can use, right? So yeah, that's all the basic things what we can go through in the UI. As I said before, if you go to the machine learning and the the machine learning stops will be here documentations and all the different things if you go to data science data science stops will be popped up here so that's the normal behavior that you can see and in the experiments you can create the experiments as i said before that's all i want to show you in this video i hope now you know how to create the account and also create the account and also get familiar with the UI of what Databricks Community Edition looks like. I'm going step by step so that one video is linked with another so that you don't get confused and the learning will go in a flow. The next video, we will be going through how we can create the cluster in Databricks UI. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.